This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I've been chilling surfing the web looking at a bunch of different types of truck campers and I have a truck. It's an F-150. I've been wanting to rebuild a truck camper for a while now, but most of them are too big, too small, too heavy, or way too expensive to be practical for a build. And don't even get me started on that wait time. So I decided, yo, I'm Dulex. I'll just build the ultimate pop-up truck camper completely from scratch. So I did. Whoa, 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 hold up. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to the beginning. It started with a simple aluminum frame. I've actually just used my saw blade to score a line. Now I'm just going to use some muscle right here. So I'm going to be using these RV window frames that I took out of an RV and I'm going to be putting plexiglass on the inside of the window frame as my window. While I finish up the walls and install this window, I think it's a good time for us to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a website or online store and build a beautiful online presence to run your business. A lot of you didn't know this, but my website, dualexbuilds.com, is actually powered by Squarespace. My Squarespace site allows me to connect with my audience by sharing the build plans from a lot of the stuff that I build in my videos and also sharing my product link for all of the products that I use that everyone always asks me about all the time. The feature that I like the most about Squarespace is how easy it is to use. I mean, you literally just drag and drop images and features wherever you want them to go. I mean, it literally took me less than an hour to set up my website initially. And then after that, I just update it every time I upload a video. So head over to squarespace.com slash dualex to get your free trial. And when you're ready, you can use code dualex to get 10% off of your first website domain purchase. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I gotta get back to the build.
right, so I've come across my first actual problem of this build, which is kind of crazy that I got this far and this is my first problem. I tried to install this strut and first of all, it's way too long. But on top of that, it's way too strong. This is only one strut too. I'm supposed to have one on both sides so that this won't be uneven. And with one strut, this door is coming up way too fast. I just ordered the struts. I'm getting these 10 and a half inch struts instead of the ones I have are like 24 inches or something like that, ridiculous. These will be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to knock out the back door now. It doesn't really have a lot going on, it's just kind of dead space. So I think I'm gonna do uh, like a herringbone pattern on the back and I'm gonna use some thicker wood on this. with the struts installed. All you gotta do is undo those two latches and then doors lift on their own. Before I throw this on the truck, I'm gonna put on some weather stripping down here on the bottom. The main thing I got to do with this is seal it up and also there's actually no ceiling in here yet. I'm going to be using this waterproof panel that I've got right here. I'm just going to throw it up there, put a aluminum border on it and use that as the roof before I tackle the interior. Sanded up here. The struts are working really well. It lifts up like super clean. So, what I'm going to do now is clean this off completely, make sure there's no dust on it, and I'm going to seal this with polyurethane. And while it's sealing it, I'm going to work on the kitchen drawer and then the storage that's in the back.
side. This only pulls out 24 inches, but that's because I can lift this up. And then when it's up, I can access everything from the back. Just so I don't have to crawl all the way back there. And then on this side, this is the kitchen. And it take out that double drawer slide in it. And when I put it away, it just goes in like this. This is actually just the guest bed. I'm gonna be using these quarter inch plywood pieces as the ceiling and I'm actually gonna to try to seal this with Raptor truck coating. So this side is coated in polyurethane, this is the interior and then the exterior side is gonna be Raptor line. So we're gonna try that out and just see what happens with it. So this is what it's looking like right now. The top's looking pretty ugly. However, when you actually lift it up, the inside looks pretty crazy. basically done. The bad news is now I have to sew the actual tent together. I have no idea how to sew, never worked with fabric before. So I guess I'm gonna go 
learn how to sew. So I've actually drawn out my plan for this and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I'm gonna make three pieces, one for the front and one for both sides. These are the pieces, of course, not drawn to scale. That's my game plan. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm not gonna act like I know what's going on because I absolutely do not, but this is not the first time I've done something without knowing how to do it. So I'm here to try it out. Let's see how it comes out, man. Finally got the fabric on there and it lifts up and down beautifully. I think I did this pretty well for never sewing before in my life. The zippers work pretty well. You can actually zip them from the bottom or from the top, but I designed it so that it's supposed to zip up from the bottom. And eventually I'm gonna have this so you can roll this up and have it hanging here, but I'm just throwing it over right now. Now that all this is finally done, the only thing I have left to do is take off the temporary ceiling that's on the truck camper right now, put this tent on and secure it down. Well, of course it's actually raining today, so this is gonna be a real test to make sure that I actually waterproofed everything properly. Now it's not bolted down yet, but I definitely need to open this up just to see what it's gonna look like. I need to measure the height in here. It's so tall, like my arm is all the way up and I can't even touch the ceiling. I can just barely reach this. I was actually gonna make this taller. I thought it was gonna be too short, but I was completely wrong. Man, I was just sitting here for like 10 minutes, just staring at it, just like wondering how, how I did that, that's insane. That's it. I've got a bit.
I hope you enjoyed that video. It was pretty crazy. I'm out here camping for the first time in the rain and I'm happy to report no leaks. So it seems like I did everything right so far, but there's still a few small things left that I need to do before this is ready for its full tour video that's gonna be coming out soon. So I'm gonna be doing a shorter video of me doing all the little finishing touches, so stay tuned for that. And also every single little thing that I did on this camper has a detailed video explaining exactly how I did it and showing it more in depth. And feel free to follow along with the build as well if you want to. I actually released the build plans for the frame, the tent, and the truck drawers on my website, dualexbuilds.com. So if you want to pay for those plans, you can, but if you don't want to, then you don't have to. So I just have it set up like kind of like a donation thing. So you can pay however much you want to for it, but it's actually free. So if you like the plans, I, I recommend donating. If not, just download them and check them out. And if there was any particular product that I used in this video that you were interested in, chances are I probably got it on Amazon. I have a list of all of the Amazon products that I used in this build, and you can just click on them. It'll take you straight to Amazon with a link so you can uh, check out those items if you want to. And don't forget, I'm starting a new build series very soon, building this 16 foot travel trailer. Also, I'm really considering building a box truck into a tiny house very soon after that so make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and if you are subscribed make sure you tune in for these videos hit that bell if you want to see what happens with me and this truck camper make sure you go follow my second channel dual x adventures we're going to be going on a bunch of adventures so just make sure you go follow that if you want to see some content on that it's a brand new channel so if there's no videos don't freak out and that's pretty much it man i'll see you in the tour video that's going to be coming out really soon if you're watching this in the future and it's already out then it'll be in the middle of the screen right in front of me somewhere if you're watching as this comes out then maybe you want to check out the uh 36 foot travel trailer that i just rebuilt or maybe you'd like to see me build a 1986 conversion van I did some pretty good videos on that. People really like those. So maybe if you're new, you might like those. Or maybe if you're a returning viewer, you might want to rewatch those videos. They're pretty good, man. Is it still recording?